Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Rig It On Thursday with the coach. We've been absent for a couple weeks. I got my man Jordan back with me. He's back off of vacation in Costa Rica where you don't ask him about his fishing trip. He <laughs> lost his marlin of a lifetime. But other than that, he said it was a great trip and he had a good time. What about it, Jordan? Was it good? It was awesome. And uh, anyway, so today we got a couple things we're going to do. And then starting next week, we're going to get back on a certain shape each week and, and talk about rigs again like we were doing. But today we kind of picked a show. We're going to do a little show on crawfish today. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. But the biggest news here at Big Bite today was the color contest that we ran. Oh, we had an awesome level of participation. Had 600 people who put in color colors. And we had to, you talk about sorting through a pile. <laughs> uh, it took us like three or four days to figure out so we worked through it all anyway, and we got we got a winner. Big Bite Delight is the winner. Uh, he'll know his bait right out of the gate, and uh, we'll be a, we'll be introducing that color to you here shortly. But we had so much good participation, Jordan. I think we decided to do a little something different, didn't we? Yeah. So talk a little bit about what we're going to do. So we couldn't just pick one winner. So now the fans get to choose the second winner. So you guys, if you go right now to BigBiteBaits.com/contest. There's a poll, and we narrowed it down to eight more finalists, and you guys get to pick the next winner. And that winner's going to get 500 baits just like the last winner, so everything's going to be the same. We just decided instead of just picking one color, we'd pick two because we had just so many, so many different colors. And we're going to offer those two colors at the Classic in two different shapes. We talked about this morning. We're going to run one, I believe, in a fighting frog and one in a kamikaze craw, a special run at the Classic. Go ahead and explain the winning color, Big Bite Delight, what it looks like. Um, I'm not real versed as far as how to, you might want to handle that. You did that, so okay. tell me a little bit more about that. So the winning color was June Bug on top of Black Neon. That's right. So it'll be a black with a red flake on the top half of the laminate, and the bottom half will be a straight old school June Bug with no red flake. So kind of be something a little bit different and unique. We, we, we know black and blue is real popular, so we thought we could mix those two and, and try that. And, and we had a lot of other good ideas, but sometimes the colors that we get in don't mix well when you put them together. And it, you might put a, a red and green together and it come out in an orange. So we had to be careful as to what we chose to make sure that they would blend properly. Now the eight colors that we're gonna give you next week to our, actually here in a few minutes that's up the poll. There's no problem on making any of those, so you be, feel free to vote and we look forward to getting a winner for sure. Anything else on that we need to add, Jordan? So today we're gonna talk about the good old crawfish, the bass's favorite feast of the day. And of course, some people would say shad. I, you know, I like, the, I always target the crawfish. It seems to work the best. Uh, and so at Big Bite, we're, we're, we're pleased to be able to offer you a big, large variety of craws. Not just one or two craws. I mean, you see them laying here in front of me. You can turn our catalog on page 15 and our craws begin. And you can turn through the next five or six pages, all different types of craws that we offer. There's a craw there for just about anything you want to do, any way you want to rig it. So as a result, I just thought today I'd take a few minutes instead of showing you how to rig them all, just talk about the different shapes, the types of craws that we have, and a little bit about them, give you some ideas maybe on how I would fish them and you can do them same. So we're gonna start with one of the older ones we've got, the Yo Daddy. It's got the long tentacles like a crawfish. Doesn't have as many, doesn't have the pointed pinchers, but it's a small, compact, meaty bait that's good. I know that uh, Russ Lane developed this bait. It's good for punching. It's real good as a trailer. I've seen it used as a trailer. A lot of different ways to use it, but uh, we call this the Yo Daddy, okay? The second craw bait that we have this one that's got another me another meaty type body is the real deal craw. Now the nice thing about the real deal craw is obviously it's kind of a, a punching type bait that's made for that, but there's some things that you, you might not know about. When you buy it, the tentacles are attached. Okay? You can leave the tack the tentacles attached and fish it and get a subtle fall, more like a beaver bait, where, where it just subtly glides. Or you can tear the tentacles apart pull them apart and you can get the proverbial flap if you want it to flap. So the nice thing about that bait is you can get two two types of presentations on one bait, kind of unique. A lot of people don't know that about it and that's something we probably should do a better job of explaining. All right, and then we'll get into kind of what I call the nuts and bolts of, of the craws that we have. The swimming craw, 3.5 inches, um, works real good as a jig trailer, works real good on a swim jig. Um, you can also just pitch it. I've even took this bait before and fished it on top 
and let it gurgle going across the top of the water and got strikes on it. So there's some different ways, kind of like a top, a top toad when you use, but instead just use the craw bait. Uh, but it's very durable. It does have a uh, hollow section in the center of it that you can add, you know, sin in or a rattle or whatever you'd like to do. So there's some different things you can do with it. It's got some versatility, okay? And then we'll get into the, the college crawl, one of our new baits for last year, uh, has a pretty meaty body on it. It has some different shape flappers than most of the usual big bite bait flappers. One thing about our baits, most of our flappers look the same. These are a little bit different, our claws, if you want to prefer to call them claws. Uh, and this bait has a real meaty body. Uh, comes in uh, like nine different colors. Uh, it's been real popular. It's a real economically priced bait. It's cheaper than some of our other baits. Something you might want to try. All right, then of course, the old standby, my favorite. Obviously, you've heard me talk about this now for weeks. I like the fighting frog. Uh, it, it has great action. Uh, you know, you can use it in like, a, a, I say a hundred different ways, but you can literally use this bait a lot of different ways to fish. Uh, you know, anywhere from jig trailers to Carolina rigs to pitching it, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, but the fighting frog has lots of action, has the typical claw. that's our typical trademark type claw that we have here. And um, I would highly recommend this as a crawfish type bait. You can spin it over, has a hook pocket in it as well to make you know easy hook set, okay? All right, and then the new crawl that we just announced and came out with this last year, uh, the kamikaze crawl. A little bit different flapper on it. It's got bigger, more, more uh, thick looking type flapper wide. Makes a lot of action in water, lots of vibration. Uh, especially I found this bait last year when I was prototyping it. A friend of mine gave us this shape and, and I found when I had them first that I did real good in muddy water with these because they made lots of vibration and uh, they seemed to work real well, but you can use it on the back of a swim jig, on the back of a football jig, or you can just pitch it, whatever you'd like to do. There's a lot of different ways, but that's the new Kamikaze Craw. That's one of the colors that we talked about in our color contest. This is the bait it's gonna be in. Okay, and then last but not least, with a, something that's a little bit different, but it is actually a craw, one of my favorite springtime baits. Now, it's one of my go-to baits in the spring. I like the craw tube. Uh, and I'll tell you what I like about the craw tube. Of course, obviously it's got the, the craw type pincher on it, but it also has a hook pocket in it. I mean, a hole up foot where you can run a rattle in it. If you haven't tried this bait with a rattle in the spring, especially in muddy water, you're missing out. You can, uh, I like to pitch this bait on the banks and, 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 and the fish love it. And you know, last year, or well, actually the year before last, we came out with this big brother. We came out with a swimming craw tube. Same tube, same hole through the middle of it, everything's the same. We just put a little different type of flapper on it and we turned it into a, into a swimming craw tube rather than just the old straight drop craw tube. So if you want lots of action, go with this craw tube. You want a more subtle approach, go with this craw tube. So gives you two options. So that just shows you some of our crawfish baits that we actually run and work in. They come in a, a broad variety of colors. Uh, just I thought I would share that with you today. We got any questions, Jordan? We got hanging over from last time or any new questions that might have popped up today from our listeners? Yeah, I just got a new question coming in <coughs> from High Buck Fishing. What okay, is, High Buck. What is your favorite crawl bait and why? Well, I, I, that, that's the, here it is, High Buck, right here, the fighting frog. You know, that we call it a fighting frog, but it's a crawl style bait. Why? Diversification. I can use this bait so many different ways. This tilapia color right here is, is a killer. And uh, you can take this bait and you can use it. I, like last year, my partner was throwing on a Carolina rig while I was throwing it on a jig getting bites. Or we mope up, you know, just so many different ways. You, I might have it on the back of a swim jig. He might have it on the back of a football head jig. It's just so much more things you can do with it. That's what I like about that particular bait. And I have a couple people asking about the Yo Mama. So the only reason we didn't talk about it today is just because it was a beaver rather it's than a It's a beaver crawl. style bait, which is a little different concept. It's, it's more of a flat tail type bait, doesn't have as much kick. Uh, it's more of a subtle fall. Uh, we'll take some time in one of our other segments and talk about the couple of types of beaver baits that we have. Right, okay. So we definitely do still have the Yo Mama in how many different colors does that the come The Yo Mama we have it in like uh, about 30 different colors. I don't, I don't know exactly because I don't have much chart from it, but at least I think around you know 25 to 30 colors. Right. Uh, you can get in the catalog. It's in that same section. It's on page uh, thir uh, 17. Actually, I take 34 colors in the Yo Mama. It has happened to pop up. That's, that's pretty good there. That's what's called magic. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, definitely try the Yo Mama if you like a beaver style bait. One thing I want to say, share about the Yo Mama, you can detach it too like you can the uh like the uh real deal crawl mm -hmm. one last question from nick lombardo 27 what is your favorite type of worm and why 
Okay, Nick. I, uh, I like to actually. I'm gonna give you two to try. You know, I, I don't want to just hone down the one for years. I would have said the B2, the 10 inch ribbon tail worm that we make. But here in the last couple of years, I've done real well on an eight inch straight finesse worm as well. Fishing you know, on big shaky head, big magnum shaky head, like a three quarter ounce head. Uh, I like both of those worms, and I normally don't go to those t types of you know. Uh, baits until like out in May when the water begins to get hot. But yeah, either you can't go wrong with either the B2 worm or that Magnum finesse worm. Uh, can't go either way. Good, 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 good deal. And uh, that's pretty much all I have today, Jordan. We, uh, I told you we're gonna keep it kind of short. Next week we're gonna get back on our uh, baits and how to rig them and and keep the good questions coming. We appreciate the uh, the participation in the uh, color contest and everybody cast their vote. Let's get a second color in here for the classic and and looking forward to next week from then. We'll see you at Big Bite.